Hello and welcome to day 10 of Movie Files 100 Movies in 100 Days. I said today I was going to be reviewing the internship, but it turns out that it's not been released yet in the UK. So instead I'm going to be reviewing the movie Spring Breakers. This movie is written and directed by Harmony Curry, a gentleman who's been known by being an alleged purse snatcher and thief when he was on The Late Show with David Letterman. This supposed comedy uh, is supposed to be a movie that wows everyone because it takes everyone's little uh, Disney children and turns them into sexual objects. And I'm not kidding, this is exactly what this is supposed to be doing. But instead it turns into something extremely weird. Now before I go into detail about why this movie is extremely weird, let's just go into the story and touch on the reason why this movie may be cringe. Childhood friends and college students, Faith, Britt, Brand and Cotty, I'm not making this up, they plan to go on a spring break vacation, but they don't have the money. So to obtain the funds, Britt and Candy decide to go and rob a convenience store. Again, I'm not making this up. They do so by using hammers and realistic guns. They then talk step by step about the plan and what they did to do this, and yeah, that's what they did. So the four friends decide to travel to Florida for their spring break. Now I want to give an aforementioned note out that the professional wrestler and former TNA owner Jeff Jarrett is in this movie as he plays a guidance counselor slash priest who keeps talking about Jesus. I'm not kidding. He's in the first five minutes of this movie as everybody watches on. Now. Before these girls go to Florida, there's loads of scenes of them trying to get naked with one another, stand there smoking and looking like they're fake kissing. This movie literally is a pedophile's wet dream. On the trip, the girls have, they just attend loads of parties, sniff coke and crack, and just have loads of reckless behavior while having fun with boys. The girls then get arrested for such behavior and then get bailed out by a wannabe rap star played by James Franco who's got some weird conros going on and some weird teeth who looks like he's from up end of the sticks I'm seriously not kidding now as James Franco's character Ellie bails them out they go to a life of debauchery and fun with him and his friends Faith played by Selena Gomez, who seems the only intelligent one out of a lot of these girls, decides that she's going home, and we never see from her again. So those wanting to see a bit of Selena Gomez's minge probably aren't gonna actually see that in this movie. She's still playing the wholesome Disney girl character that she always has, even though in this movie she kind of teases a little bit of danger, which doesn't happen. So Brit, Candy, and Cotty return to Alien's mansion while he talks to them about his many guns, possessions, his rims, his Tims, and how they can help him maintain his lifestyle by robbing people, which is what they end up doing. He then spends a night in a club with the girls and then introduces them to Archie, who's played by Gucci Man, who's basically Franco's former friend and now enemy. He talks about the fact that this town is his. You see a bit of cutscenes about the, the like sort of flashbacks on this guy telling him that you know he'll never be out to anything and that it just shuts his mouth and be a surfer boy and Franco gets displeased. These guys then go for an all-out war. Gucci Man and his gang decide to shoot one of the girls in the arm, so then we lose another one. So Brit leaves after getting a bullet taken out of her arm and decides to go home. So Candy and Cotty are the only two left. Franco decides to play some sexual games with them and then they end up putting a gun in his mouth to make him look like he's sucking another dude off, which he gets aroused by. The three of them get into a sexual relationship and have loads of scenes of them looking like they're insinuating sex, but it looks extremely tacky. They then decide to go and gun down his rival, Archie, and as they do so, Alien's going across the bridge telling these girls that he loves them. They shoot him in the head and then gun down Archie and take everything, while we hear a monologue of Candy, played by Vanessa Hudgens, having a conversation with her mum about them changing their lifestyle. 
the film then ends. I'm not even going to go into the acting of this movie because truthfully there wasn't any. This movie was nothing but a piece of shit. It was so cringeworthy to watch and any bit of minge, muff and boobs that anybody was actually promised in this movie did not exist. The only thing that's been burned into my mind is the fact that James Franco was sucking a gun off. James Franco was sucking a gun off. Now unless you're a guy who's interested in this sort of thing, go nuts. But not even that fact could save over the fallacy of this film and the fact that it was piss poor. This film is the reason why people are getting screwed over. You go to the cinema to watch stuff, I mean actually watch films that are decent. I rented this film out and I felt like I have been robbed of all my money. The fact that Universal Pictures distributed this movie makes me want to puke. The fact that this movie was actually distributed over here as well by Vertigo Films makes me want to puke. This film was terrible. It was less than terrible. Nobody stood out because they were all shit. Because the writing was terrible. Because the, the bloody direction was terrible. Because the acting was terrible. And to see someone of the quality of James Franco in this atrocity of a film really makes me want to punch him in the face. He's better than this. He's extremely better than this. And beyond the fact, and despite the fact that him and Harmony Corinne are friends, was probably the only reason why he decided to take this role. Next time, James Franco, even if you're friends with a guy, make sure you pick and choose your roles. Because after watching this film, I don't think anybody would want to actually put you in another movie role ever again. You sucked off a gun. That's all I can think about when I think about you now. Not the fact that you worked with Academy Award winner Danny Boyle. Not the fact that you played a rather credible and decent Harry Osborn in the Spider-Man movies. I can only now just think of you sitting there sucking off a gun. And the fact that you were pressing it up against Vanessa Hutchins' pelvis looking like it was signifying a cock. Really? really boggles the mind. I would recommend that anyone would stay away from this movie. Never watch this movie again. Do not even go near the vicinity of the site of this movie. If this movie is in a bargain basement bin, do not touch it. If it's there as part of a 50 pence package that you get an extra sweet with it, just buy the sweet. You don't want to watch this piece of cinematic bullshit. What more can I say about this film that hasn't been said? The fact that this movie even exists makes me sad. And I feel really bad at the fact that the internship hasn't even come out yet here in the UK. That I had to watch this piece of shit. Oh, oh. Harmony Corinne, never make a film again. Never write a script again. Try and find something else for you to do. Because you make you bowl. Oh Look like he's an Oscar winner. And all the girls in this movie looked like they were doing softcore porn. But they didn't do anything. This movie has made me feel dirty. And I've watched Farah Abraham do some very nasty things on camera. Spring Breakers. Anybody who watches Spring Breakers You might as well gouge your eyes out, pop your eardrums, and put your face in a tub of acid. You'll get more enjoyment out of that than with this 
bloody movie! Check back tomorrow for my next review where I'm going to have a bit of a change of pace and I'm going to review Let's Throw Mama Off The Train. And tonight I'm going to drink loads and loads to get this movie out of my system and I don't drink! Universal Pictures Vertigo Films you should be ashamed of yourselves. James Franco. I can never look you in the eye again. Roll the fucking credits.